There's a new idea to help the homeless in Fayetteville. It's called a tiny home village. Kayla Strayer is digging deeper into the new possibilities city leaders will be talking about. Kayla. Yeah, so Fayetteville's mayor plans to pitch this idea to council members during a work session on Monday. It would do something similar uh, to other cities. They are using things like shipping containers to help solve the problem of homelessness in their area. Imagine living in a tent under a bridge or in a car like Christopher Tober does. We've been homeless off and on. One of the ideas to help the chronically homeless population in Fayetteville right now is called Housing First. It's where you find immediate housing and then focus on job training and treatment programs if needed. I think the Housing First model, I was very impressed by it and I think that's something that we haven't tried and so this would definitely complement uh, that, that approach. Mayor Mitch Colvin will be pitching the idea of a tiny home village for the homeless to council members on Monday. So hopefully they will support a uh, further look at this and a feasibility of how we can do it and how much something like that may cost. The executive director of the nonprofit Seth's Wish Community Center says a tiny home village would work great here, but so far it's been all talk and no real action. I don't think we need to study it. I think we need to implement a plan of action and we're either going to do it or we won't. And I know it's it's been a long time coming, but this is a complex matter and so uh, you know, I think that it's time for us to get serious in a way, uh, the local government to start to invest money into uh, sheltering. Christopher is excited about the idea of a tiny home village possibly coming to Fayetteville. It'll be good. We we're, we're want my mom said she wanted my living in a tiny home or something that, like that. So obviously nothing set in stone yet, but the mayor does plan on talking about this during Monday's work session. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that. So far, no idea of where it, it would be or how much something like this would cost the city. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.